And there's no good news on the immediate horizon. Our economy is dark, darker, darkest almost. The economy needs help. On that, Republicans and Democrats are on the same page. But their playbooks on how to kickstart the ailing economy contain philosophical differences that could delay approval of any plan beyond the president's target date of mid-February. Frankly, the, the news has not been good. The president's pitch is currently priced at about $825 billion. The majority of the money would be spent over 18 months to improve infrastructure, including roads, upgrade schools and hospitals, and boost energy efficiency, ultimately creating or saving up to 4 million jobs. Republicans say that's too much spending and not enough tax cuts. Uh, as it stands now, I would not support it. They also object to some newly released details of the plan. Mr. Obama's proposal to inject money in the arts, pre-kindergarten programs, family planning services, and repairs to a portion of the inauguration site. But spending 44 or $200 million to fix up the National Mall, $21 million for sod, over $200 million for contraceptives. How is this going to fix an alien economy? The administration, though, promises to keep tabs on spending and will invite the public to examine the ledger, too, through a soon-to-be-launched website. Happened Meantime, Vice President Joe Biden, in an exclusive Speaker interview Pelosi on CBS's Face the Nation, that emphasized that speed and compromise in Congress are critical. There is a genuine effort here, and I think everyone in both parties is seized with the notion we must act quickly. There is another issue. That's whether more money will be added to that other big package, the $700 billion bailout of the banks. The top economic advisor to the president said today that Mr. Obama is prepared to do whatever it takes to fix the economy. Russ. Thaya Shuras at the White House. Thank you very much.